Hey there! Today I'm going to talk about a pen which I recently purchased off of eBay. Uh, it was someone suggested this pen to me and I decided to, to try it out because I, I thought it looked kind of nice. Uh, there was nothing fancy, it didn't come in a box. It is new, but it didn't come in a box. It did come with 12 international cartridges, which is nice. Um, and that's pretty much it. So, here we have the pen. It is the pen and ink sketch. That's what it's called. Pen and ink is the brand, which is, I, I say, a pretty apt name if you make pens and ink. And the, the model is the sketch. Um, I'll, I'll show you the parts of the pen, I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and I'll do a writing sample. So, first of all, a simple pen, and the first thing I noticed is that it is light. It really is difficult to convey in a video, but it, it really weighs almost nothing. So I, I just put it on my scale and it weighs 20 grams, which is indeed fairly light. It means it weighs the same as an Amiki Falcon, if you're familiar with that, or it, it weighs the same as two of these. I'll have to disinfect my hands after touching that, but, um, you know, just to give you an idea. Okay, let's have a look at the pen. So, it's, it's as I said, it's a simple design, black and chrome. Um, I like the, the, the matte look. It, it reminded me a bit of a Lamy 2000. It has this sort of this color, I, I think. Let's start with the cap. The cap has a, a, a very simple design, apparently. Ah, yes, you can unscrew part of the cap. Not that it has a, a terrible use, but you could do that uh, for, for cleaning. It could be useful. Um, we have the clip. The clip works, and it's it's fairly springy, as you can see, which I always like. Um, it has a nice sort of diamond design, which is a bit Conway Stewart-ish, I would say. Um, again, simple uh, matte chrome, I think. Uh, the the looks so that that's okay. Then on this nice little ring, it says pen and ink, sketch, and then a a weird letter like sh symbol or something. Uh, you, you probably can't see this very well, but uh, that's that's what it says. Okay, then we have the the barrel, nothing fancy there, and uh, an end cap with a nice little ring. You cannot unscrew that. Okay. I uncapped the pen, <clears throat> I got the uh, broad nib, um, well, that's just what it is. It's a broad nib, and that's about all I can say about it. It says Iridium Point B, uh, and, and, and that's that's it. Um, nothing spectacular about the feed, the nib has some nice ornaments on there, but it, it's it's nothing too fancy. It's just stainless steel, it's it's not, uh, not gold or anything. The grip section, I think it's pretty nice to hold. Um, it could be a bit larger for my hands, but you can of course post it. And then it, I think it's a very pleasant uh, size. Because it's so light, even when you post it, almost nothing seems to change about the balance, I think. I add the cap and it still feels exactly as heavy as it was before I added the cap. So, um, for those of you liking heavier pens, actually like me, um, this one is very, very light. So, beware of that. The grip section. A uh, simple thing, uh, somewhat taper, and then you get this, this sort of matte chrome uh, ring thing, which seems to be a, a theme on the pen. Again, um, you get a nice little ridge there, so that your fingers don't slip onto the nib, uh, and that's that's pretty much it. I think it's pleasant to hold, it's not too smooth or anything, it's just nice. Uh, I would say a pleasant pen to hold. Okay, this pen did not come with a converter. Um, I think some versions do, but mine, my version did not. So here we have the section. Be careful of this ring, because it will come off very easily. So if you try to flush out the pen, you can actually... Uh, you, you, you could just lose this, even if you unscrew the pen. You know, it's something to be careful about. This is one of the very simple black cartridges that, that came with the pen. As I said, there were... I got 12 cartridges uh, for free with the pen, which is nice. Um, it also takes a, a standard international uh, converter. You, you, you can buy these, so they're not that expensive, uh, and they, they will just fit in a, a multitude of pens. So it's always useful to have a couple of these lying around, I think. Uh, and it, it fits without any problem. So it just fits in there, you can um, ink up your pen from a bottle, which I prefer to do. Okay, so... 
a word on the cleaning. Unfortunately, I was unable to remove the nib or the feed from this pen. I always like it when you can do that because it really aids in cleaning, but in this case you cannot. So the only way to clean this, I would say, is to flush it through with a bulb syringe filled with water, and that's pretty much it. Okay, what do I like about the pen? Well, it's very light. So if you're looking for literally a light traveling companion, then this is a nice pen. Also, because it's light, it doesn't uh, tend to, to tire your hands an awful lot. However, I always like a heavier pen. I, I like the, the, the feel of the, the, you know, the, the weight of the pen. So if you're looking for that, then you can skip this pen. I do like the design. For a relatively inexpensive pen, I think it looks pretty okay. This, this material, whatever it is, some type of plastic, I suppose, I think looks pretty nice because it's matte and with these sort of matte chrome or whatever metal it is. In any case, with, with these highlights, I think it looks pretty nice. Okay, anything I don't like about it? Well, as I said, the, the weight is a bit of a double-edged sword as far as I'm concerned. It could be a bit heavier for me, but that's it. Uh, the nib is pretty smooth. Uh, I had some trouble cleaning it, so when I changed inks, there was, even though I, I flushed it through pretty extensively, there was still a bit of a mixture of ink colors going on, which I don't think is a very good sign, but okay, whatever. And finally, the, the, the broad nib does not seem extremely broad. And now, I have to admit, I'm not sure whether this is an Asian brand or an Asian nib or, or whatever. And that will explain the, the um, lack of width. In any case, a nice overall pen. So, I'll do a writing sample next. And um, that's it. So, I hope this was useful. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Okay, writing with the pen and ink sketch. This is a broad nib, and the ink is um, some type of cartridge black that came with the pen. I couldn't find a, a brand on that. Okay. The pen is pretty smooth, um, but something I do note and something you can actually see is that it skips. Now, this is a bit extreme, but if I go slow it seems to work fairly well. It is a new cartridge, so I have to allow a little bit for that. But in all, I think the pen skips a bit. Okay, let's do some fast writing, see how it keeps up. Okay, so that's pretty good. So the the feed actually keeps up with that pace. That's a good thing. Uh, let's let's do some some line variation. Okay, so you actually get quite a bit of variation out of this. That's not bad. All right. Some coloring. That's a fairly even patch of ink. Now, as you can see, uh, this nib is not the broadest out there, even though it is a broad. This is a Delta Dolce Vita broad, completely different ink, but still. Nevertheless, uh, I think it's a, a decent pen. It was not that expensive. A nice everyday writer, very light, nice design. So nothing wrong with that. But you just don't ex expect any spectacular results. Uh, I, I don't think that's completely warranted. But, you know, it's a nice pen and uh, that's all there's to it. So I hope this was useful and um, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.